Okay, there's the brake master cylinder at the top. That just pushes in. I had to lick that a little bit and then push that in that rubber bung. That's from the reservoir from the top. So if you have to drain it down, pull that off and then obviously get some jar or something underneath to collect it. There's two bolts that hold this on, 13 mil. Right, one, two, so you have to undo them. The brake union going towards the slave cylinder on top of the gearbox goes into that port there. Right, so you have to undo that. At the top, there's a pin. See this pin? Right, okay. The pin, to retain that onto the clutch pedal, goes through there, look. Pushes through there. Then you have this clip. See the clip there? Right, well that goes over, slides over that way, like that. There's a little recess on the end of that pin and that clips in like so. In order to get that off, right, if you have to get that off, right, what you do, see the clip there, you put a screwdriver through the end there, and then that releases that from the pin on the top there. I say, two 13mm bolts here, that goes in there like that, then you've got a um, So as it goes on, like so, right, that's clipped on. If you have to remove it, you put the screwdriver in, right, like so. Yep, watch, like that, and that levers that off of there, and then you just, um, Hold on, I'll show you. Yeah, that just clips off like that. But if you put the screwdriver through the end part, that comes out of that retaining sort of collar bit there, easy enough. And also, uh, when it comes down to it, I'll show you how to bleed it because I've got to do the brakes as well. Right, the actual feed pipe from the reservoir there, the brake reservoir. Um, I'm gonna pull out, right, and there's a, like a retaining grommet thing there that goes in the bodywork, but I'm gonna pull it out. The reason being, as I said before, I wanna replace this bit here. Right. There, with the new one. See the new one there? I thought, well, I've so got a brand new one. So what I will have to do, put pliers on there, and some pliers on there, and maybe a little bit of WD-40, and then keep doing a twisting motion to twist that out, and then I shall push the new one in, all right, like so, about the same level, the same thing, then that will go pushing through that hole, all right, like it come out, that go through the hole there, in the body work and then you just got to push the grommet thing back in but I've just figured that's easier than struggling under the footwell where there's not much space and you can't really get to that but now I can get to that easy enough right the new one's in what I done I done it like a twisting motion and just wetted that slightly before I put that in, but you sort of got to push as well as twist inwards, like screwing inwards. But 